look half asleep but um it is one minute to seven um in the morning it's a monday morning and it's a pretty sunrise well it's sunny this morning so i am going to i don't know if you can see that you can't really um i am going to go on a little walk this morning because i feel like i need it i haven't been on a morning walk in a while so that is where i'm headed i thought i should show you my outfit it's really basic but morning walk attire beanie on because it's cold um it said it was three degrees so i have got this hoodie on and i've got like five layers on underneath to keep myself warm um hoodie is from remain it's um available on farfetch and you can use my discount code which i'll pop on the screen and i'll leave it below to get 10 percent off if you are a new customer um so go check that out if you're not if you've already got an email or account with farfetch just sign up with a new email and you can use a discount code um but yeah it's a really nice oversized hoodie and i got it in an extra small i love it and i've just got some black leggings on and my new balance um what are these 530s i'm not even showing you them um and then these socks are from Soxygen. i'll link them all below i think the shoes might be sold out but i'll link them below anyway i'm going to put my coat on and i'm going to head out i'm very excited to go on a little morning walk i haven't been on in a while but yeah let's go i'm back from my walk i just sat on my bed um it was a really nice walk actually i felt like i needed it um i just felt like it was just refreshing and i'm really loving that it's lighter in the mornings i left the house at just after seven and by quarter past seven it was pretty much light so that's so nice i love it i can't wait for it to be light at like half six so that then like getting up is even easier like i've been waking up before seven but because it's still dark i don't really want to get up um and i always get up at seven but i tend to wake up before my alarm so it'll be nice when it gets like half six and i can actually like, feel like i want to wake up a bit earlier not that i like need to get up early but if my body's already waking up then i feel the need to wake up do you know what i mean <clears throat> so yeah anyway i've just popped on some eye patches because oh this one's slipping because um my eyes have been very tired recently i don't know whether it's like a stress thing because a lot of these spots here were stressed also i am aware my neck is a different color to my face um i don't know why it goes so drastically different i've been putting tan on my face but it's just not nothing's happening so excuse this um but today i'm actually going to the dentist i am getting a treatment on up to my front teeth um which i'm really excited about I'm very nervous but i'm excited um i basically have a patch on my tooth i'll pop a picture on the screen um because you won't be able to see it but um yeah i'm going to the dentist for that today so i'm gonna have new teeth by the end of the day which is exciting anyway i'm gonna post on instagram and i'll catch up with you guys in a bit hello it's a bit later on um from when i last spoke to you i don't look any better in appearance other than i just put a bit of makeup put a bit of, bit of foundation on my face just because i was like i my face didn't match the color of my neck and i was like I feel like I should go to the dentist like looking completely like death do you know what I mean anyway I have been and gone to the dentist and my teeth oh my god I'm in love with them so basically what I had done the front my front two teeth I had a white patch on the teeth um I don't know what they call them but they're like they're essentially a lot of people get it it's just like patches on your teeth that are like they kind of look like little dots but mine was quite big and i've had it uh since i don't know since i can remember and they did this treatment called icon treatment i believe and i don't know if he put composite on it i don't know he was like if it doesn't work we'll put composite on it um so i don't really know what he did exactly um but those were the things that he like suggested and that he said it was going to do um and they were like it's worked really really well and my front two teeth now there's no patch on there which is kind of mad like it doesn't seem like right 
Um, but there's no patch on there. I think until I get into like day to day life and whatnot, I won't be able to see like the difference um, that it makes. But hopefully, it will make me feel a lot better, um, a lot more confident as well. And I also have a couple of other teeth. I'm not going to go super close, but these two, these ones here, called the canines, aren't they? Uh, I've got white patches on those ones too. And he was like, um, see how you feel like after these teeth like settle down because my mouth was dry for like 40 minutes and he was like they'll have lost a lot of moisture so see how you feel after a couple of days and then we can book to get the other ones in and I think I will because like already like my teeth look so much better and just for me like I don't want to go and get like super fake teeth or um change my teeth at all I just wanted to make them look nicer as they are because I like my teeth as they are um so yeah I'll pop some pictures on the screen, please excuse the way I look, of how they looked this morning and then how they looked afterwards. Um, and you can see what it looked like. But yeah, I'm so happy. It's so nice. Um, but yeah, I will leave the website to the dentist that I went to. Um, I went to White & Co in Battersea. Um, and it's really nice in there, like I highly recommend, I've not had a bad experience at all. Um, I also had a hygienist appointment there, um, and the girl, well, she was, I would say she was a girl, and she's a lady, she was 23, so, girl, <laughs> I don't know, she was really nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, I've got to crack on because I need to plan some outfits for my shoot tomorrow, and I look a little bit dishevelled, but we move, it's currently 10 to 3, and I've literally not even done any work today so i have got to crack on but i will catch you all later if not i'll catch you tomorrow because i'll take you along on my shoot day um but yeah let's do this morning it's the next day obviously um sorry i'm just going to get my extra battery my camera um today i am heading on a shoot date with ellie you've seen ellie many a time um and I'm rushing around because naturally I've not given myself enough time. Um, usually I'm really good at this, but today apparently not. Um, so I'm just getting myself together, ready to go. I curled my hair this morning. I've not curled my hair in ages because I've been trying to not curl it as much and like just leave it straight um, when I blow dry it. So curly today. Um, but yeah, I'm just rushing around. I'm trying to figure out what coat to take because in my suitcase which is down here i have one two jackets no three jackets and then i have this trench coat and i was like what's the point of carrying another coat so i've got layers on underneath so i should be fine with this trench coat and i might get my scarf out and then i can whack the scarf on if i feel really really cold but i literally don't see the point in me taking another coat and i've already got three with me so yeah i'm just sweating myself out and then I'm going to head off, but I will catch you when I'm with Ellie because I'm in a rush and I've got precisely 12 minutes before I need to leave the house, otherwise I'll be late. So, I'll catch you in a bit. Look who I'm hearing! Oh, hey. oh god, why do I look so tall? I don't know! <laughs> Can we just film? Um... <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's oh, because I don't really cut. Sure. Anyway, you are a bit tall, to be fair. <laughs> I feel like I always look short anyway. Why do I look so tall? I don't understand. Anyway. We're here, we're here shooting. I don't know why, I'm making no sense. We're here at um, Ciccone's. We're just doing a little bit of a cafe shoot right here. Um, we've done three outfits. Yes. Three outfits. Um, we're just having a nice... Oh, it's because I touched my hair so much. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just shot a really cool outfit here. Very excited to post it. Baby. With my baby. Oh. I'll take it home. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yes, yeah, so we're just having a nice chill shoot. It's been really fun actually. It's just like a casual vibe. Yeah, it's nice, it's chill. And it's not cold. Oh my god, it's actually so warm today. It's so we're both warm. in just jumpers and neither of us are shivering. Progress. Uh, I have on its way. Yeah, I've got two tops on <laughs> <you>, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Like a couple. Where's the cute couple? <laughs> Hello, I'm back home now. Um, I literally got home about 15 minutes ago. Well, giraffes. Um, 
then I had to go to the post office to post some digital pot parcels that had sold. So I did that because I thought if I sit down, I ain't going to do that later. So I've just done that. I'm really hot and sweaty. Um, I just put on a tracksuit. This, uh, I was going to say Adenola. It's not from Adenola. It's from another version. I've just put this on um, for comfort purposes because I just need something comfortable. Um, I'm going to sit on the sofa and I'm going to answer some emails, which I should have done like the other day. Um, and I'm going to put these blue socks on. How cute. These are from um soxygen i believe they sell them in selfridges potentially anyway um i've had soxygen socks for years and i really like them for years a good couple of years um and they sent me some more and look at these they say make me happy make it happen make me happy oh my god can you tell <laughs> i've been out all day um yes yeah, i'm gonna pop these on because it goes in my blue tracksuit not that i'm going anywhere but they look cute um so yeah i'm gonna go sit on the sofa now I'm relaxed. I feel like I've been go, go, go since 7am and it's now 2 o'clock. So I'm going to chill out, relax for a bit, do some emails, chill. another tracksuit um i didn't actually end up vlogging much yesterday afternoon i ended up just sitting on the sofa for the rest of the day um doing a bit of work so it wasn't that exciting but today is a new day it's wednesday and today i'm going to film some new reels and tiktoks and stuff like that i've not done any in a while and i feel like i'm just like itching to do it at this point I was feeling really like meh last week. I still, I feel very like disorganised, which is something I really, really want to get on top of. But I'm struggling to get myself in an organised state. Um, and every time I try and get organised, I end up having loads of other things to do. So, yeah. But today is Wednesday, as I said, and it's a lovely day. Um, it's not like super, super sunny, but it's nice and bright, which is great. So I'm going to crack on and film some videos. I just got myself ready. Curled my hair yesterday, which you would have seen. Um, because my hair was curly yesterday. Um, and it's really weird. Like, I'm definitely feeling more the straight hair at the moment. But I actually do love my hair when it's curly. So it's nice that it's curly today. I just curled the fringy bits just to add a little bit of, um, make it look like it's been freshly done, even though it hasn't. Um, but I think today I'm going to film another Valentine's Day outfits, like an easy Valentine's Day outfits um, video. want to do a little ASOS haul because I've got a few bits from ASOS, which I haven't shown you yet. Which I can show you. I'll show you those, I'll show you those bits. Um, bear with me two secs while I get myself all sorted, ready to shoot. And I'll show you guys those new things that I've got from ASOS. Um, I really thought I showed you, but I haven't. And I also have another parcel coming today coming in well should be in an hour or so so i can show you that as well so anyway i'm gonna go and get myself ready set up and then i'll show you my asos bits i think this is my new favorite spot to put you guys it's like the perfect height i love it anyway let me show you some of the things i got from asos um you would have seen some of these if you follow me on instagram um because one i wear them like instantly when i find things i like and second of all um, I actually did like a ASOS picks on my stories, so you might have seen some of these items. But anyway, first up, I got this bomber jacket. Um, this is like an oversized, a really oversized bomber jacket. Um, I got this one in a size six, and it's huge. I'll pop a picture on the screen. Slash, it's on my Instagram if you want to go see what it looks like. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. If you're going to buy it, I'd recommend sizing down or sticking to a normal size because it's it's huge but i love the size of it i think it looks really cool i think it'll be a really good piece to take into spring um it is actually kind of like slightly thicker on the inside so i do think it'd be good for now um i have worn it already out and about so it is good for now um but yeah i love it i think it's a really cool piece and I, like i said i think it'd be great going into spring and like wearing with like light wash jeans crop top kind of thing um i think it's just a nice jacket to have and i love 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 this color um i'm a sucker for green anyway so when i saw this i was like i need that i also bought another jacket well is it a cluster jacket it's more of a coat no i don't know um i got this trench coat 
Um, my housemate Grace actually has this coat and I saw it and I was like, I actually really like that. Um, and it was on sale at the time, I don't know if it still is, but I'll link it below anyway. Um, and it's this trench coat with this really cool like quilted detailing on the back and it's like khaki green colour. I just thought it was quite cool, a bit different, I love a trench coat. And sometimes like the trench coats you might already have just don't go with a certain outfit. Um, and this one's a little bit shorter because it's from the petite section. So um, I quite liked that good piece to take into spring. Um, the quilting just has a little bit of something different to it. Great piece for like a neutral look. I just really liked it. I thought it was really cool. I got this one in a size 8. Um, and it's just a really nice jacket. I love a trench coat. I've not worn this one yet. Um, I did wear it. I have worn it in a post. But I don't know whether it will be up by the time you guys see this video. So it will be coming to my Instagram very soon if not um last clothing piece i got is this skirt i am really into like i'm really getting into like a midi skirt which is so not like me but i feel like my style has changed a little bit since last summer or last winter even i think it's probably living in london that's changed my style like it's actually mad mad how location can change what you wear um my style even like a couple of years ago when i was in amsterdam is so vastly different to how it is now um maybe i'll do a video on that if you'd like to see a video on my like style change let me know because i can do that anyway um i got this satin like wrap over skirt so it like wraps around it's got a slit on it it's really nice it's really, really lovely um i just think it looks really cool styled with like either just a white vest crop top or wearing with like a knit now. You could dress up, dress it down. I just think it's a really nice piece. Um, and I just love a bit of black satin. Can't really go wrong, this is really nice. This is from Topshop on ASOS. And I got it in a size four. I think it's really cute, I really like it. And then the last thing I got was like one of those items that I bought because I thought I just want to buy them so I can like try them on and then maybe I'll send them back because like, I don't know if I'll ever wear them. They're definitely being kept. Look at these shoes. <gasps> Aren't they amazing? First of all, the colour, stunning. They are beautiful. They are like the perfect sage green. They actually match that bomber jacket I was reading a minute ago. Um, they've got this gorgeous crisscross over the foot. I'll pop a picture in slash that'll be linked below. Go check them out. They're amazing. They're so comfortable. I love the colour. The actual um, kind of, what do you call these? Like the straps and the ties. It's like a really soft leather kind of material. So really, really comfortable on your foot. Really comfortable when you wrap them around your ankle honestly like so nice and like i don't have an outfit for them nor do i currently have an occasion but i am going to find an occasion maybe i'll wear them for my birthday which is coming up next month which is mad i'm going to be 27 which makes me want to cry but um yeah i just think they're really cool i think they'll be great in summer i think they'll look so nice in summer with um with like a really cute white dress maybe a matching sage bag they're just really cute. I'm just very excited and happy to have them. Not that I have anywhere to wear them at this current time, but it's fine. It's fine. I was going to hopefully send them back. I'm not sending them back. I love them. So yeah, that's everything I got from ASOS. I don't think I have anything else to show you right now. If you'd like to see more new in stuff, um, make sure you go check out my Princess Polly video. I did a haul um, and there's a discount code as well. It's Charlotte20. You can get 20% off princess polly so i'll link that below um it's also on my youtube channel if you want to check that out um there's some really nice like spring kind of pieces in that video so if you're looking for some like nice spring pieces you want something a bit different go check that out but i do have some other pieces coming today so i'll let you know when they arrive is the parcel arrived excuse the mess planning outfits but it's here so we'll open it with you sorry i'm out of breath ran upstairs because got excited i love when parcels come um so i ordered these items from end if you've never shopped on end before god i really should have waited till i caught my breath um if you've never shopped on end before i highly recommend they have such cool stuff in there and i picked myself up some things um i just honestly love the website it's like really cool edgy vibes very like street wear vibes that kind of thing so if you like that recommend end they do men and women's and they do like an array of different brands on there love 
Anyway, I picked up a couple of things that I have my eye on. First being these uh, Levi's, what are they called? Ribcage Super High Rise Straight Leg Jeans. Now I feel like they're gonna be a little bit short. So I kind of wanted them to fit like longer, but also they could be the good length. The good length, the good length. I love a pair of light wash jeans in the summertime, spring, summertime. And since we're getting into spring, I'm kind of bored of winter fashion. So I wanted to bring something fresh to the wardrobe um, and the uh, styling. So I got these. I'm very excited. I'll try them on in a second for you guys. Then I also got these dickies. Now I've seen so many people wear dickies and I really want to be one of those people that can wear them too. And I just thought, fuck it, I'm gonna buy a pair. Now these are women's. I know a lot of people that buy these buy the men's versions, but I am like titch. My waist is really small, so I don't know if the men's ones would be far too big for me. Um, and I don't think they do a small enough size to fit around my waist. So I bought the smaller ones. I don't know if these are going to fit or if I'm going to like them. Because they do look like they're quite tapered at the bottom. And I don't know whether uh, I'm going to like them. So yeah, but these are the 874 cropped. And I got them in a waist 24. They didn't have a waist 25. Um, I'm like between the two, so I never know. But right, I'm going to try both of these on for you. I'm gonna see if they're any good. Okay, I've just popped on a t-shirt so that you can see both the bottoms best. Does that make sense? Anyway, these are the Dickies and I'm so incredibly surprised by how they fit. Um, so they fit perfectly around the waist. They're not too like tight, they're not too big, which is really nice. Space for a belt if you want a belt. Um, now I know most people wear them like rolled over, so I might try that in a minute and show you guys that works um and this is the length of me they're like the perfect length in terms of trousers like they fit really nicely um they're not too baggy they're not too long like i think actually on me they're like the perfect length i wanted them to be this length even though they're cropped so you can tell that i'm a small human being <laughs> um but they fit so nicely like around the bum they're just a really nice pair of trousers so if you're looking for a pair of black trousers and they're quite thick um these are a really good option i really like them i think for spring they're gonna be a really nice pair of trousers to wear like with like a little cropped white top i think these will look really nice let me try the little thing that people do when they turn this over let's see if it works <laughs> okay i've given it a go it kind of works if i want to do the low rise waist thing we could give it a go i'm really impressed with these i'm gonna try on the levi's and hopefully they're just as good. I thought these were going to be the fail, but let's see. I think I'm obsessed. <laughs> so these are the jeans. Um, they're very bleach wash. They're very like summer vibes, but I do really like the shade of wash of them. I think they're like perfect to kind of bring in the spring wardrobe, spring items into my wardrobe. I know I have a lot of jeans. You're probably aware of this, um, but jeans are my weakness. So let's look at all that. Um, but yeah, they fit really nicely around the waist. They're a little bit loose at the back, but I often struggle with that, so it's not really an issue. They fit nicely over the bum, and they're a good length as well. Like they're not, they're not like super long, but they're not super short. So I think they're going to be like really good for summer. One thing I really struggle with is like shoes in the summer, and so like if I'm wearing something that's too cropped on the leg then there's too much ankle out whereas this is like the perfect situation for wearing with like like you could wear it like this with a white tee and then with like a nice trainer a pair of converse i really like them i do actually have a pair of these jeans in like a deeper blue color and they're a bit longer but i think it's because they're a size up um, and i really like them i think they're a really nice fit so i'm really excited to wear these oh my gosh what a great haul i don't even know how much i spent it wasn't they weren't cheap um nothing on end is cheap but i really like both these bottoms and i think sometimes you need to spend a little bit more money on stuff that you actually really want than just buying like cheaper versions of stuff and i think that's something that i'm really trying to do this year 
is not keep buying stuff that I don't want. Not keep buying cheap versions, but buying stuff that I really like, that I feel like suits my wardrobe, suits my style. Um, and then, you know, you love them 10 times more. So, very happy with my purchases. Um, I will link both these items below, along with the sizing. I did get both in the waist 24, um, if you're wondering. And I usually would get a waist 24, so... Yeah, and also I'm five foot four, by the way. I've got longer legs, so but I love them. I love them. They say a length twenty seven for anyone who knows Levi's. That's about the same length as what the Dickies were as well. You know the Dickies are classed as cropped, so if you're tall they would be actually cropped, but I'm not tall, so they're not cropped. <laughs> um but yeah, I'll link both things below and go check out end if you're ever interested in like streetwear they do honestly do everything they've got levi's on there they've got dickies on there they've got trainers all sorts so go check and out anyway i need to crack on with some work i'm actually gonna go and get myself some lunch now because it's well, it's quarter past 10 and i know i won't want to go out of the house later because i want to like crack on and get stuff done so i'm gonna head out the house now i'm gonna get myself some lunch now and I've got it ready and then I can eat it later when it comes to lunchtime. So yeah, but oh, I'm just so happy. So freaking happy with my purchases. Yay! Hello, a bit later on. I am just making myself some lunch because I'm hungry. And I'm also just watching um, the last episode of um, project runway if you've not seen it i highly recommend i used to watch project runway back 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 in the day um let me just find somewhere to put you um yeah i used to watch it back 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 in the day um and there's a new season so i've been watching that i've just been making myself some lunch i cooked these like chicken goujons but they're like slightly pink in the middle so I've whacked them in for longer and I'm hoping that you see they're still a bit pink and I get so paranoid when it comes to like chicken and stuff like it's like the one thing I get most paranoid over so I'm gonna leave it in a bit longer because I'm not convinced why is it pink I just want to eat I just really want to eat Okay, I'm just gonna chop these. Get them on. Hopefully they all cook a bit more. Oh God, I just, just want to eat my dinner, my lunch. Why is it pink? I just don't understand how it could be pink because I thought these were like part cooked already. Give it a bit longer and then I'll eat it. But yeah, anyway, just sat down here, waiting for that to cook. I'm just gonna start editing some of the reels that I worked on earlier whilst I wait for it to cook. And then I'm probably gonna go back upstairs and potentially film another reel because it's a nice day. And before my hair gets too greasy, because it will be greasy tomorrow. But then I could do some with my hair up tomorrow, so. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and I will um, catch you in a minute. Lunch has been consumed. I'm now going to head back up some doors. Um, I've just realised whilst filming this video that I have no YouTube video to go live tonight. So I'm going to have to edit this and get it up <laughs> tonight. Oh. There we go. Um, I'm gonna have to get this edited and up tonight. Otherwise there'll be no YouTube video tonight, which I've just realized. So I think that's what I'm gonna have to do now um, because I have not edited this video yet. And I'd like to get it up because um, I feel like it's a good one. Um, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see YouTube wise. Do you wanna see more fashion content? Let me know, I'm really stuck with fashion stuff at the moment because I'm not inspired. So let me know. I think I might do. I'm thinking about this. Potentially doing like my new, like my top 10 new wardrobe pieces or something. Because I've got some really nice new in pieces. Bits I've shown you. Um, 
yeah, most of the things I've, you would have already seen. But, like, they're my favourite piece. Like, there's certain pieces that are, like, my favourite. So, maybe I'll do that for the next video. Because I think there are some really good pieces. And I like to talk about them a bit more. So, I might do that. But, anyway, I'm going to go and edit this video. And um, I'm going to round off the video now. Because I don't think there's anything else that's going to be exciting to vlog today. But, I hope you enjoyed this. And do give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. And I will catch you all in my next video.